All right, moving inside the bus. Start with the steps. Check the tread on the steps for cracks or breaks. Mount it securely. Check the handrail. It's secure, not broken. The step well, well light is mounted securely and not broken. I have an ABC fire extinguisher mounted securely, fully charged. The tag is current. First aid kit and three fuses and emergency triangles and body fluid cleanup kit all being checked. Sit down in the driver. It is mounted securely, not broken. Check the seat belt for any tears, and it works. Adjust the mirrors, and check the student mirror. Check the windshield for secure mounting. No cracks, no illegal stickers. It works on high and low. This is the noise kill switch, and it works. This is the front heater. It works on high and low. Auxiliary heat. This is the rear heater. Works high and low. Dome lights. Look in the mirror. They all work. This is my strobe light. I'll check it when I check the emergency exit hatch. These are my windshield wipers. They work on high and low. This is my watcher washer switch and it works. Blue silver button. Push silver button. This is my yellow loading light indicator. Open the door. This is my red loading light indicator. They're working. This is my override switch. It works. This is my crossing gate cancel. It works. This is the defroster. It works on high and low. Where's the defroster? This is the heater, and it works on high and low. This will be our lab test. Do leaks alarms button test by turning engine off, parking brake off, leave the key on. With no pressure applied, lose no more than two pounds of pressure per square inch in one minute. Put your foot on the brake. With pressure applied, I should lose no more than three pounds per square inch per minute. I'll pump the brakes down. The alarm will sound between 60 and 40. The alarm on this bus is currently not working. So the alarm should come on right now if it was working. The button will pop out setting my brakes between 40 and 20. goes the button. I'm going to start the bus while the pressure is building. I'll check the gate pressure gauge. It, stay about, it will stay about 50 pound range. Check the water temperature. It will rise as the bus warms up, stabilizing around 190. Check the transmission temperature. It's working. This is the digital voltmeter. And it's charging. Check the fuel gauge. I have sufficient fuel for the trip. Check the air pressure gauges. They will top off around the 120. Check the right turn indicator, the left turn indicator, 
Has the light indicators. Big bright lights. Check the 20 inch steering wheel. With no more than 2 inches of play. The horn works. Go through the gears. Check the parking brake. Move the gear selector to the lowest gear and rev up the engine. To around 800. If the bus does not move, the brakes are properly adjusted. Now, repeat in reverse. Now check the service brake. Check the service brakes. Step on the brake at about 5 miles per hour. If the bus, bus pulls to one side, it needs to be serviced. Walking through the bus, check the seats and the floor tread. Make sure they're not loose or broken. Securely mounted to the floor. Check the emergency door. Make sure the alarm comes on and the door opens and closes freely on the inside. Check the emergency door. Make sure the alarm comes on and the door opens and closes freely. Point to the other emergency door and say you would check that one the same way. I will check this emergency exit window to make sure the alarms work. And open the screen. Point to the rest of the emergency windows and tell him you would check those the same way. Check the rear roof hatch. Mention that the strobe light is working and you would check the front latch the same way. We can see that our strobe is working. driver's seat. Ask the examiner, examiner to help you check your lights, the outside, the front headlights, brights, left signal, right signal, the yellow hazard loading lights, and the red loading lights. The examiner will go to the rear of the bus, watch them go in, the, in your West Coast mirror, hit the brake, the right signal, the left signal, your hazards, your backup lights, red loading and yellow loading lights.